What's going on internet? IG here again today and we are going to be taking a very quick review of Linux Mint 19 Tara. This has been something that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Um, Linux Mint has uh, has be, has held a special place in my heart for many years and um, and why is that? Well honestly it's because Linux Mint 8 all those years ago was the first time a Linux distribution took the spot of a daily driver on my laptop back in whatever year that was. I'm tempted to say 2007, somewhere around there. But Linux Mint was where it all started for this guy. Um, and back then it was of course using the GNOME 2.x and if you know if you don't know what that is that's fine but nowadays Linux Mint is a well established uh, it's no longer considered a, a simply a knockoff of Ubuntu with the codex pre-installed and a different look and feel it is its own beast and it has been for quite some time and I would go so far as to say that Linux Mint to me now represents probably the most and, and hear me uh, in the best possible light when I say this Linux Mint to me represents the the Mac OS of Linux distributions. So I'm gonna come back to that point in just a bit, but for the meantime, let's dive in and let's take a look at Linux Mint 19 Tara. Okay, so what do I mean by it's the Mac OS of Linux? The thing is that Mac OS for a long time, and, I'm, and it's definitely not the way I feel about it now, but for a long time, Mac OS was designed uh, to be a, a simpler, to use operating system and one that got out of your hair and and to use a cliche just worked and that's what i feel linux mint has been pursuing not simply for um not simply as to try and be an alternative to windows or be an alternative to ubuntu but to try and pursue its own thing to try and make its own operating system and its own users uh, happy and i think they because they focus so much on just trying to um trying to hit the needs that are within the Linux Mint community and try to make each product that they make better and better. They've got to a point now where it's so uh, polished and it's so user friendly that uh, that new people coming into the Linux world, uh, it's very easy to recommend them towards Linux Mint because they look after their community so well. And I guess an example of that is obviously the fact that they realized that churning out a release every six months based on a new code base uh, from Ubuntu was sheer insanity, and it is. And so they moved to the LTS base, and then uh, and then kind of having a um, a point release schedule for a couple of years after the LTS. So Linux Mint 19 is on a new code base based on Ubuntu 18.04 that came out back in April. And so all of the uh, features and I guess the underlying code base is is very shared. It's very similar. Um, so you've got the Linux 4.14 kernel, I believe, or 4.15 kernel, and um, and you've got a bunch of the GNOME stack there that's common to Ubuntu as well. If you don't know what any of that means, that's fine. Um, but basically, what that means now is that uh, Linux Mint has put out an XFCE edition, um, uh, a Mate edition, or a Mate edition, and a Cinnamon edition. I'm looking at the Cinnamon edition because it's something that's very unique to Linux Mint. And uh, jumping through here, just looking at the uh, some of the release notes that they have for Cinnamon, um, you can have a look that uh, most of the headlining stuff is about back-end kind of stuff. It's the sort of stuff that average users want to see in terms of a, a depth of looking after their system. Um, this isn't a, this isn't a, an operating system that's designed to impress on first impression. It's an operating system that is designed to uh, to con uh, to consistently impress you with what it can do in the background to just look after your computer. So when it comes to, for example, one of the biggest changes and one of the biggest things that they've introduced is the whole uh, integration of time shift. So you can set up system snapshots. I'm, I'm here in the update manager. This is going to manage all of your software and keep it up to date for as, uh, as long as this a particular version is supported, which I believe is until 2023. So that in and of itself is impressive. But if we go, okay, let's set up some system snapshots. I'm gonna give it my admin password, and then we're gonna jump in and it's gonna ask, do we wanna use rsync or btrfs? Now, it's not important to know what those things are because it'll tell you what those things do. And I think this this sort of explanation not only uh, not only helps the user know what they need to do, but it actually, it actually teaches and educates the user into how their computer can run better. 
and how they can better maintain their computer. So I think it's tools like this, and this one obviously being new to, to Tara, um, I think is the reason why Linux Mint has the following that it does. And it's probably the most popular uh, consumer desktop Linux that is run in the world. Now, I, I don't have stats to back that up, but it just seems like this one has a lot of buzz out there and for good good reason but it prompts you to do this first up before you update before you do anything so that if you do break something it's so easy to roll back to a time where it worked and honestly the kind of user friendly uh, or a, a simple user experience that they build into this kind of tool is what makes Linux Mint uh, so great in my opinion so time shift you can see here it looks pretty much as simple as you can possibly get without sacrificing the features that a lot of um, semi power users would want Want. So time shift, great addition there in the Linux Mint 19 release. Um, the other things that come down to it are basically just um, sort of user interface tweaks. They've made Cinnamon a bit faster. They've also done some tweaks to the software uh, center, which of course the software manager is their own. It's not uh, piggybacking off Ubuntu's or anything like that. Um, and that's something that I appreciate. I did have a lot of criticism for the software manager in the past because it was very sluggish. Um, but here they've uh, not only have they managed to implement uh, the snap packages or flat pack packages that um, that have become very trendy nowadays, but they've also kept it very clean and also kept the performance quite handy dandy as well. Um, now, the other thing that I will say is that um, usually speaking, they will get um, you'll be able to get some pretty good. Um, you'll be able to get some pretty good reviews and ratings from a lot of these applications and typically speaking you'll notice that the ones that are the highest rated show up at the top of the list. So that means you're not left um, fishing through all of the, the junk that is, uh, that, that is the Linux ecosystem. Um, all of the t best ones come right to the top and you can see here that a lot of these reviews, some of these have um, over a thousand reviews. So there's plenty to, uh, to pile through there if you're looking for a particular app. So uh, I think this software manager is um, superior to the one that comes on Ubuntu, the one that is standard with GNOME. And I think, uh, and if you want to find software to install, then this is obviously, obviously the place to do it. Even something as simple as an editor's picks section is always nice to see. Okay, so that's enough about that. Um, Cinnamon, they've, like I said, they've made that a little bit snappier. They haven't added too many features per se, um, but they have tried to uh, minimize the amount of redraw time so that windows open a lot quicker. Um, personally, I actually haven't been running Cinnamon enough to know the difference, um, but to me, Cinnamon already felt pretty snappy on modern hardware. Now, what I will say is that um, because I am running this inside a virtual machine um, and it is using a software renderer, you can see the CPU is churning away um, and I'm not sure if there's other stuff going on in the background. Let me check real quick. And yeah, most of it is Cinnamon, which unfortunately when Cinnamon is in software rendering mode, it is absolutely burning through the CPU there. But unfortunately that is because the graphics stack is not exactly very optimized here for this virtual machine. So running this on native hardware, and I did boot it up uh, on a live disk, um, and the drivers were supported right out of the box. Um, the CPU was idling around 5%, which is still a bit heavy, um, but it's not not anything to, to worry too much about. One gig of RAM is kind of meh, but, um, but that kind of gives you a bit of an indication. Um, so in a virtual machine, this thing will slog down absolutely um, just because of the way that Cinnamon handles, uh, or rather the way that uh, virtual machines aren't really well optimized for uh, for Cinnamon's uh, window manager. Okay, so in terms of, um, like I said at the top, when it comes to this, uh, for me, th I see this distribution as the Mac OS of, of, of the Linux world because it focuses on quality, polish, and, and ease of use for its user base rather than just trying to add new features and build new stuff just for the sake of it. Um, and it prefers being stable and reliable as opposed to uh, trying to wow people with a bunch of new features. And I think its community really appreciates that. So my recommendation for this distribution, uh, look, honestly, I could, I could have a few complaints about, I don't know, about some default look and feel things, although I appreciate the refresh with the, I think it's the Mocha uh, icon set. 
um, they've, and the Mint Y theme, I think they've done a great job with modernizing that. Um, honestly though, I don't have a lot of complaints because this is probably one of the most functional, at least out of the box, most functional um, Linux distributions that you can install. You can install this straight away and get up and working with a desktop that you enjoy using very, very quickly. And, uh, and in terms of praise for a Linux distribution, that, that's about as high as it gets. What I will say is that the, the, the selection of software that you get out of the box is more than sufficient for what most people need. Adding to that, again, out of the box experience and the software support and the update support, security support and so on that they give you after the fact is, uh, is top notch. Their update manager is very capable and, uh, and nowadays Cinnamon as a desktop environment, what you see here before you is mature enough that uh, honestly there's not a lot of features lacking. But having said that, is there a feature that you really wish was in Cinnamon that wasn't in the last time you checked? Because um, I know there definitely was stuff for me, um, but those, those gaps have since been filled. Honestly, the only thing that stops me from running something like Linux Mint as my daily uh, driver is, uh, and again, it sounds stupid, but the, the HUD um, heads up display menu, being able to, um, being able to find these uh, window, um, finding these app menu things by simply triggering a key on your keyboard and searching for them. So convenient for me. Anyway, so I know I can do that through Ubuntu Mate and, uh, and probably through Mint as well. Um, but that's just my own personal opinion. Honestly, I don't, I've got a very special place in my heart for Linux Mint, like I said at the top. And uh, this is no longer a distribution that is just for the noobs. This is for people who want a solid distribution that's gonna be supported for years. It's gonna have um, stable, relatively stable software and, uh, and very mature desktop environments that are feature rich, but also designed with the end user in mind. And I think honestly, if that's the goal that Linux Mint has been pursuing for these years, then I think it pays off. Uh, Linux Mint 19 is definitely a recommendation in my book. Coming up next, we're gonna be looking at Pingai OS 18.04, uh, which is a bit of a blast from the past for me because I ran Pingai OS back in the 12.04 series. So uh, definitely keep an eye out on your inboxes for that. Subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis and, uh, and definitely hit the notification button uh, to see when those videos go live. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the very next video. Leave a comment down below, like I said, uh, if there are any cinnamon features that you wish were included. Um, mine would probably be the heads up display menu. And, uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.